All right, this recommendation is whole grains. And the recommendation is that you have three servings of whole grains a day. You can see by this graph, daily servings of whole grains directly result in decreased mortality. And really, research has shown seven servings of whole grains being optimal. But I've kind of um, chosen a, a middle ground because I think high carbohydrate diets have also been associated with mortality. So I'm just basically recommending three servings of whole grains per day. Now the difference between a whole grain and a refined grain is a whole grain retains the bran and the germ. And the bran and the germ have the fiber and the healthy fats and the antioxidants. The refined grains just have the endosperm, which is starch. The effect on your blood sugar is as follows. So if you take brown rice and white rice and compare them, brown rice has seven times more, and which is a whole grain, has seven times more fiber than white rice. And the effect on your bloodstream is that it gets broken down, uh, something without bran or the germ gets broken down very rapidly, entering your bloodstream, causing a rise in your blood sugar, secretion of insulin, and that causes a sugar spike and then it causes over time a lot of work for your pancreas, which can lead to overweight and diabetes. So when you have grains, I'm recommending you have them be whole grain. And the way that I get three servings of whole grains is I'll have one serving at breakfast, one serving at lunch, and one serving at dinner. For breakfast, my serving of whole grains is half a cup of steel cut oats. I should say now that I'm not only recommending whole grains, but I'm recommending avoiding refined grains. So when you look at my diet, there's no bread, pasta, or white rice. Any grain in my diet is actually granular. It looks like a grain. It hasn't been milled into a flour and made into bread or pasta. So for breakfast, my one serving of grains is steel cut oats. For lunch, I have a whole grain on a salad. And for dinner, I saute a whole grain in um, with, with uh, vegetables and seafood. What I do to make it easier to eat whole grains three times a day is I cook eight cups of a whole grain ahead of time. So I'll take one of these whole grains, and I've listed here the grains in order of their amount of fiber per serving. I, I'll take eight, but I don't stick to like just the highest fiber single whole grain. I love the variety, which means I can keep going back to whole grains and have a new experience. So I'll cook eight cups of a whole grain I'll add basil, parsley, or cilantro when I'm cooking it, as well as garlic and pepper. I'll have eight cups of the whole grains in a Tupperware in my fridge, and then I'll just add half a cup to the salad that I have for lunch, and add half a cup to the saute I have for dinner. So once again, the goal is to have three servings of whole grains per day, and to avoid refined grains, including bread, pasta, and white rice. Thank you.